This high school has more pillars than the White House, I swear. Welcome to the HSCL Roadshow, a three-month road trip where we'll be traveling the country in an RV to teach 25 high schools how to build PCs. And when we leave each school, we leave behind six gaming computers so that they can start their own esports team. Huge thanks to the Army National Guard, ASUS, Intel, and Extreme Networks for sponsoring this series. On this trip, we have Nehemiah, who is our campaign manager, Nick, our videographer, and me, Connor, the commissioner of the High School Esports League. Three gamers, a giant camper, and a bunch of computers. It's day three now. We drove through the night last night to get here into Alabama, and we just arrived at Oak Mountain National Park. It seems to be really cool so far. And so we figured we might as well go on a hike and get some really cool drone footage. The reason we drove through the night was because we kind of wanted an off day. So instead of having to wake up this morning, drive all the way here, we just figured let's go through the night. Tomorrow we'll be building an esports lab here in Alabama. But for today, we're just going to have some fun. So without further ado, let's, I guess, cue some drone footage. Check out our magnificent view. Trees. We got trees. <laughs> Uh, it was a bird. <laughs> wow. Look at that guy. Oh my god. I didn't What's even up? see What's him. up, fam? What's up, bro? No fight? If I thought, back down. I win this fight. Oh yeah, yeah, Fortnite, we're about to get down. We forgot to mention, this gentleman with us is Jack. He's an extremely talented photographer and videographer and also happens to work with us as a graphic designer. So we figured it would be perfect to invite him along for the first couple of stops to help out. So we just got done for a hike and you know, we were just kind of walking and talking and reflecting on this journey so far. We're only three days in, but we've already realized just how far we have to go with esports. You know, we were, we were at the school yesterday building the esports lab. It was crazy how emotional the teacher got when talking about it, understanding that she was so excited and has worked so hard to build esports at her school. As far as esports has come over the past couple of years, how far we still have to go. I don't know, it's, it's a challenge that I'm excited to take on. And the High School Esports League, you know, we're challenging that every day to educate and build. But it also made us realize we need to make sure we're putting more educational content into this video and into this journey so that you guys who maybe understand esports or who are watching this for the entertainment can also share this with your friends and family so that they can also be entertained but hopefully learn a little something about esports and understand what we're trying to do here because it's it's not just about playing video games it's about the team aspect it's about a, just a new generation of sports and, and leadership and teamwork all designed through video games which is really incredible and hopefully you guys understand that and see that throughout this journey anyway back to the video Eee! Found water, baby. Look at this. Yeah, you're gonna be alright. Do they have a fountain? Okay. This is the craziest school I have ever seen. This high school has more pillars than the White House, I swear. <laughs> They have a fountain. They've got cops. Oh. Please send the uh, butler down to come grab my bags. We're getting settled in here. We just met the teacher. Seems like a really cool guy. He's super passionate about all this stuff. Today's going to be a really good day. Um, sounds like we're going to have a little bigger class. We should have about 20 students in this one, which I think will be fun. You know, <clears throat> right now, all we got to do is unpack, get stuff in there, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So we've got the entire room all set up and prepared to do our second esports lab here at Thompson High School. We just ran and got food. We're here all morning setting up these computers and making sure all the stations are ready. We've got a little bigger class this time. I think we're expecting around 20 students, so this should be a good time. We've already met with the teacher. He's super nice, super cool. Um, some of the kids have came in and out and they're all just super excited for this. So it's, it's really cool to know that we picked these schools that are so deserving and so excited to actually have these labs and put them to use. They've already had an esports team for about a year now, which is really cool. And this is just gonna let them elevate their team and their club to the next level. So super excited to get this one started.
One of the things that the principal, Dr. Hester, and I talked about when I got interviews, creating opportunities for students who were not piped into the school. You know, they go here, but they don't have a place to belong. Um, and the eSports program has really brought a lot of those kids in. So the kids you just saw who were engaged and talking and laughing, a year ago would not have been that open. But really our community has been very supportive. For state last year we had people come out, you know, from the community watch. Um, you know, we had people ask them to matches. Um, our school boards come to matches. Um, so really our support from the top down has been great. One of the great things about esports with COVID is that we could play and not be here. And on the one hand, that's great because you can still play but you lose so much like intangibles, you know, the camaraderie and the friendships and things like that. You know, having 24 kids in here at one time, you know, being able to game, being able to joke with each other and play with each other and, you know, and, and build those relationships, um, you know, that would, be, that would be my ideal situation. We have arrived in Tampa, Florida. Um, so this is actually Jack's old stopping grounds here. He knows his way around. And so we thought, well, he thought it would be fun if I did a day in the life of Jack Matthews. So 